Hi, I'm Dustin Kassman and I'm with ICS, uh, North America's largest um, QT and QML provider. We're here at the Migo show today showing some of the products that we've made for um, both some proof of concept as well as those that we've done for some customers. Um, in particular, what we're showing this time is some technology we're, with near field uh, communications. And we have a very simple app that's running on top of Migo. It's written all in uh, QML. And we'll take and let someone put in their information. And then we're using the Nokia phone as a writer to write to the tags. And you can see on the back, these are tags of, they're not just a simple sticker. They've actually got the antenna and the memory inside them. And so we'll do this. Um, do you want to put in your name, sir? OK. What is it? Mark, M-A-R-K. G-U-I-M. Correct? Yep. OK. Uh, the Nokia blog. OK. Yep. The Nokia? Uh, that should be fine. Nokia blog is fine. OK. I can put it whatever you care. Uh, MarkGwim at gmail.com. And uh, we won't worry about the phone number unless you want to put it in there. Okay. So what we've done now is we've taken and we've written the information out to the Nokia. So, all right. That's we've had a Nokia C7. It is. Okay. And we're gonna lock it. Okay. We've got a very simple Qt application here. You can see that. And we're just gonna take it and we're gonna write the tag out. Okay. So the tag's written. So we come back, and you can see right here that it's picked up the information off the tag, and it's offering to let me call it or to add it into my contacts, which I obviously am not going to do. But at this point now, you can take this tag, which has all that information in any kind of a near-field communication device, you stick this on your business card. Stick it on your briefcase, whatever. Somebody comes and says, hey, can I get your information? All I have to do is just swing their phone over the top of it and transfer the information and all set to go. So, th so this is application, this is part of our, this is some of the stuff that we're doing. I mentioned we're doing both proof of concept um, and, it's, and it's our way of getting involved in the, in the near field um, communication field. It's sort of, we're trying out to see how we can do with the technologies. Um, we have plans to expand this into um, into some additional applications, but for right now, this is uh, just a simple getting started application. Uh, we are considering whether we'll put that out as an, an open source solution if somebody wants to take it and, you know, and, and run with it. Um, that's, that's under discussion right now, but at this time, it's not planned specifically for a particular um, commercial application at this point. So, All right, you bet.